nobody has his or her life completely sorted these are little things you could do to help you become a better version of yourself and live a well-organized life at the age of 23 my eyes got opened i was literally living my life with no purpose no vision no direction nothing although when i was growing up i was so ambitious but at some point i was distracted with these friends this sort of lifestyle that wasn't even good at all for my growth i don't know if you experienced that when you're clear 23 or maybe you are in that space right now that you don't even know where you're going to you don't even know what to do to get your life together you or maybe you've made mistakes and you've been wondering how are you going to correct this how are you going to get yourself together you are the right place because i did everything that i'm going to mention here in this video today i was once lost i was once confused I was once living my life with no purpose so don't panic just stay to the end of this video grab your pen and paper and make sure you write down everything that i'm going to mention in this video put in the effort and watch your life transform let's get into the topic of today if you're new to my channel hi i'm chim wapel you're welcome to my channel we learn and we have fun here so make sure you stay to the end of this video the number one thing you should do when you want to get your life together is to have a planner I know you must have heard this before but it's very very important to have a planner have a yearly calendar where you plan your day your week even the year have a calendar learn how to write things down and follow them up without excuses don't just wake up and rush into the day without planning yourself schedule your priorities it helps you stay on track and monitor your progress in life ever since i started writing down my plans planning myself ahead of time things started changing things started working out okay so writing down your plans planning yourself is very very important when you have a direction you have where you are going to you must plan yourself believe me you must have a planner if you want to go far in life you must have a planner if you want to put your life together even the things you think about every day is very very necessary to write them down it helps you even when you're going to the grocery store make sure you write everything down if you want to go shopping write everything down don't go in there and start picking whatever no it's not right at all write down everything walk into the store with your list and make sure you are buying everything you wrote down it's very very important some people don't plan their day some people don't even plan their year they just leave I've, I've had a friend like that who doesn't plan the year he said let me just leave whatever comes out is cool planning yourself will help you track your progress in life i said this earlier it will help you a lot of people don't plan themselves that's why they keep complaining i'm broke i don't know what's wrong what happened to my money i'm making money every year but i don't know where this money is going if you have a plan you will always know where your money is going to you will know when to spend money on your hair you will know when to spend money on your lashes you will know when to spend money on your books you will know when to spend money on your every other thing but if you don't have a plan you just be living and it's wrong very very wrong if you are willing to get your life together having a planner is the first thing you will have to do it's okay to have two or more planners i have more than two because i love to write number two is this drop those bad habits it could be drinking alcohol every day smoking every day clubbing every weekend what is that habit you have to let it go now tell me tell me that habit that you're struggling with i don't want to go there but you you know the habits that you are struggling with you know that this habit will never help you in life but you are still in it this habit will never take you anywhere in life but you are still struggling with it listen you have to drop that habit i'm listening you can tell me in the comment section or you can even tell me now tell me i'm listening what's that habit you have to let it go i let go of all the habits that were holding me before I let them go if you don't let these habits go there's no how you are going to become a better version of yourself with old habits no 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 there's no how you want to live a better life with the old habits you have to let them go you have to drop them there's no habits you cannot let go there's no habit even if it's masturbation smoking drinking sleeping around i, I don't want to go deep like i said but there's no habits you will not let go if you want to if you make up your mind and say this habit i'm going to let you go it's a habit you formed it you, you, god didn't create you with that habit right so you can easily let this go trash that habit if you want to grow up in life if you want to level up if you want to discover an 
another version of yourself, you have to let go of those habits. Pressing your phone from morning till night could actually be a bad habit. You have to let it go, except that phone is making you money. But if that phone is not making you money, you have to let that phone go. Waking up late and sleeping late is very, very bad. You have to go to bed early and wake up early. So anything that is stopping you from going to bed early, is it your phone? Let that phone, keep that phone, keep it and go to bed. You want to succeed in life, you can't be waking up at 10 a.m. You want to succeed in life, you want to get your life together, you want to go to the gym, you want to grow up and you are waking up at 10 a.m. Why? Because you slept at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. So you have to let go of those bad habits that is holding you down if you want to get your life together and if you want to get to the top. You have to let these habits go. Okay? I hope I'm not being hard on you, but these are the things that I did. At the age of 23, it, was, it wasn't easy at all. It was not easy at all, but I had to let these habits go. If I tell you my own habits, you will be like, what? A little girl like me, right? So I had to let all these habits go. You really need to get on a routine and be consistent. Go to the gym. Start up that small business. Start up something. Stop procrastinating. Stop comparing yourself with others. Stop complaining. It's a very bad habit to wake up each morning and start the day with complaining. It's not good at all. It's also a bad habit. You have to let it go. Murmuring, something didn't go well for you yesterday. You wake up this morning. Instead of you to thank God and start up your day, you are murmuring. You are complaining. You are angry. It's a bad habit. You have to let him go. Listen. I learned something when I was working on myself. Do you know that anytime I want to step into my room, maybe I'm coming back from work or from school or something, and I want to walk into my room, I always stand in front of my door and tell myself that I'm letting go of all this stress. I'm letting go of every anger. I'm letting go of everything because I love my room a lot. And that's where I rest my head. I don't want to go into the room with so much anger or so much complaint. So you don't want to wake up any morning or any day at all complaining or comparing yourself with others it's a bad habit i need to drop it now drop it okay like i said if you know any bad habit that you're struggling with i'm not a therapist but i've dealt with something like that you can actually come to my comment section and let me know maybe i will take your number or something and reach out to you and we will discuss this and sort it out together okay let's go to number three number three is very very important and it's one thing that I keep telling people, honestly, number three changed my entire life. Believe me. And number three is this, set boundaries. Now you want to move to the next level. You want to get your life together. You want to discover yourself. Not everyone is allowed to be in your life right now. It does not matter who that person is. If that person is not adding value to your life, if that person is not adding to your growth, you have to let that person go. No matter who this person is. I made a video talking about how I acquired a certificate, um, becoming an introvert. You won't believe what I did. I cut off my friends, everyone. I was lonely for six months. I was, I was just myself in my room, working, learning new skills, trying everything possible to change my life now i just realized that you can actually change your life by yourself you don't need a motivational speaker to change your life for you no you can change your life by yourself everything is just in the mind once you discover yourself you can transform your life and become that person you've been dreaming or desiring to be it's just in your mind once you set your boundaries, let go of these people and you will watch your life change. You will watch yourself become a brand new person entirely. Set boundaries both in your family, workplace, friends, relationships. Set boundaries there. When you set boundaries, you draw respect from people and you watch yourself grow. Everything that is not meant to be in your life will disappear. They will go. Things that are not meant to be around you. Even the friends. Those ones that only call you for party, club, smoking, hotel lodges, and all that. They will disappear. Because they will realize that you are no longer the person that you used to be. 
when they call you, don't pick their call. No, don't pick. If they say you're forming, let it be. I'm telling you, nobody hates success. Once I mean business, I mean business. Once I set my boundaries, I set my boundaries. Nobody is going to cross it until I'm done winning. I need to win because if I don't win, nobody will win for me. Everybody win for yourself. If you surround yourself with these people that keep dragging you back, you are going to suffer it alone in the future. You are going to suffer it alone in the future. Yeah. What do you want to tell your kids? That it was your friend who deceived you and you never get to make money. Or maybe it was a friend who was taking you to the club. And you, you ended up having no life for yourself. You need to set boundaries. It's very, very important. I do that a lot. In family, friendship, relationship, I set my boundaries. You don't cross it. If you cross it, you will no longer be my friend. For you to even cross my boundary, that means you don't respect me. You, you don't regard me, right? So you can't be in my life if you don't respect me. Mm -hmm. So I set boundaries. You have to do that if you want to excel in life. Do not allow people to walk into your life whenever they want and walk out however or whenever they want. It's a poor spiritual hygiene. Honestly, if you read very well, if you read spiritual books, if you read powerful book, you will understand what I'm saying. Do not allow anybody to walk into your life whenever they want. <laughs> I just remembered something. This is something I usually do when I was in my old apartment. Um, before you come to my house, I will tell you that I'm going to cleanse you. It was that serious. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing, but it was that serious. Like, I was literally, I don't want anybody around me. If you want to come to my house, even my sister, I will tell her, sis, are you willing to be cleansed? I want to cleanse you. I have some products here that I will use. I have sea salt. You need to go and take your shower with this because I don't want someone bringing bad energy around me. I'm growing. <laughs> I'm growing. I want to grow. I don't want someone to come and use their bad energy and surround me. I don't know where you're coming from. Maybe you're coming from some man house. Oh, maybe. It was, oh my God, it was serious. I was that serious, right? I used to be that strict because if I wasn't that strict, I wouldn't be who I am right now, right? I was so serious. I want to grow. I don't want someone coming into my room with some bad energy and I'm not messing around. I've decluttered myself. I've cleansed myself from all these bad habits, right? So I set that boundary and everyone respected it. I was surprised though. So when you set boundaries, people will respect you. Anybody who does not respect your boundary is not supposed to be in your life. Believe me. Believe me, honestly. If you don't respect me, why are you in my life? You are not supposed to, you are not allowed. I, I, my life is so precious. I've worked so much on myself. I've starved myself just to become a better version of myself. So who are you to just walk into my life and, and do whatever you want to do? No, no, you are not allowed. So set boundaries if you want to grow in life. Number four is this, learn a new skill. You don't want to wake up every morning depending on your man for your daily bread. You don't want to wake up calling your boyfriend for your lashes, for your wig, for your clothing, everything. You don't want to wake up calling a man for that. So learning a new skill is something you really need right now that you want to upgrade. You need to learn something new. You need to keep yourself busy. You need to keep yourself productive. You need to keep yourself going. You don't want to wait for one day without working towards your goal. You don't even want a day to pass without doing something that draws you closer to your goal. If you don't want to learn a new skill, it's okay. You can start up a small business online. Just make sure you have something going on for you. Something that is occupying you. Something that is keeping you busy. Making you money every day or every month. Be productive. Be creative. And be active. Do not allow yourself to be an empty space for the enemy to walk in. Because once they walk in, they will start reminding you of your past behavior. You will not grow. Believe me. Once they start reminding you of your past lifestyle, you will not grow. And how would they come into your life to remind you of all these things? It's when you are so free, you are just always sitting down at home, 
pressing your phone, thinking about this, thinking about that. That's when the enemy will have access to enter your life and turn you backward instead of forward. So you want to get busy with your life, learn something. Don't wake up and start calling somebody for 2K or Gen 2K or so. It's not, it's not right at this age and time. For you to even sit back and say, oh, I'm tired of being this kind of person. I want to discover myself. I want to get to the next level of my life. I want to get my life together. I'm tired of smoking. I'm tired of flexing. What is all this flexing all about? That was the question I asked myself. All these drinking cocktails, going out, dressing up. I was asking myself all these things. What are they all about? So you have to ask yourself this question and do not give anybody that space again, both the enemy or whoever. Do not give anybody that space. I would even advise you to allow the Holy Spirit to come into your life at this moment because you really need the Holy Spirit. It's not easy. Okay? So, getting your life together, you have to get busy with your life. Get busy. Do something productive. You can even start learning something on YouTube. And whatever you want to learn, make sure you learn it very well. Don't just jump into it and jump out. Learn it very well. Then when they call you out, you will answer. And you will make money with it. Learn something on YouTube, become something. Don't just sit at home and wait for your life to transform. Like I said, everything is here. Mindset. Stay focused. Stay consistent. Stay hungry. Keep exploring. Keep trying something new every day, every month, every week. Make sure you learn something different. Don't sit down and, and keep crying. <laughs> I don't know if you people really understand me because trying to get your life together is not a day job. And it's not a joke. When you're trying to get your life together, you will see a lot of temptation coming your way. People will even want to gift you something just for you to remain that same person that you've been for many years. You will see a lot of temptation coming your way. You have to stay focused. You have to make up your mind and say, yes, I'm going to do this. That's what it takes. Focus, consistent, discipline. You know, you have to discipline yourself if you want to get your life together, discover yourself, and become a better version of yourself. Like I said, this video will change your life. It's not a joke. I'm grateful because if I hadn't discovered myself, I don't know how I would sit down and focus like this on this camera and be teaching you people. Or I'll be teaching. I love to teach, though. You know, so if, if, I've, if I've not really pulled myself together, it won't be that easy making lots of video every week and posting right so you, you have to get your life together if you want to go far in life even if you're 40 even if you're 30 you can do something about your life please don't say oh i'm 30 nobody wants me again please don't say that a lot of people say this i don't know people you see someone say i beg i'm too old for this i can just i can just Start selling a bar room more. I can just start selling banana. I can just, I, I I'll be like, what? As pretty as you are, do you know you can actually start college at the age of 30? You can start, you can go back to uni. Number five, which is the last one, is this organize your finances. What is your plan? Mm -hmm. What is your plan for this year? What's your saving plan? Are you planning to buy a week instead of starting up a business? Or are you planning to go on a girl's trip with your last card instead of saving for two years so you could start up a business? What's your plan? If you don't have constant flow of income or a small business somewhere that is fetching you money, you don't have any right to go on that girl's trip. I'm telling you, you have to sit back. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not trying to be hard on you, but listen, these are the things that saved me. All those trips, all those waka waka, you can still do this later. But now, what is your plan? Do you have up to so so, so amounts in your account? Can the money in your account right now save you if something emergency happens? You know, I used to tell people that we save for two important things. Number one, for emergency. And the last one, for investment. These are very, very important things we save for. So what is your saving plan for the year? Is a question you need to ask yourself. I said in one of my videos that you can actually save for two years and start up a business or buy a house. 
don't be in a hurry to use your savings and go on a girl's trip hoping another one will come you can actually stay for two years for three years buy a house rent it out or sell it out at a higher rate you need to learn how to save believe me saving is very very important save your money to start up a business save your money for future purposes figure out ways you can make money every month or every day or even in six months plan yourself I made a video on how you can make 10k USD in six months I'm going to leave the link down below and I made another video talking about businesses you can start from the comfort of your home and make money from it I'm going to put the link below and I'm sure those videos are going to help you to start up something with your life getting your life together is not too hard but it's not too easy you have to really work for it I hope you've been able to learn something new today I hope you've been able to jot something down today this video will help you in getting your life together it's helped me everything i mentioned here is what i did when i started my own journey i hope to see you living your organized life very soon i love you guys that's why i always bring out meaningful information to you things that i know that will help you and i hope to see you in my next video mm -hmm. again i love you bye